Hi, I'm Kobe. And I'm Kara, and welcome to the first ever Hacks TV show. Earlier this week, the 8th graders had wonderful utopia projects. Here are some pictures. Also, last Tuesday, we had picture day, and we asked some kids to take some pictures and strike a pose. On Wednesday, on September 20th, the class of 2018 is also having their Five Guys fundraiser in Munster. And now we'll go on to Spanish, starring Nancy and Maria. Buenos días a todos. La palabra de esta semana es empapar. El significado de la palabra es absorber o retener un líquido o una sustancia líquida. El consejo de esta semana es que no dejes que no te hagan enojar porque nomás tú tienes el control de tus actos. And now on to weather with Josh. So I'm coming in live from Hurricane Irma and seeming to say that it's sunny the weekend. It's going to be kind of warm with a little bit of rain. And through the rest of the week, it's going to be kind of warm with a little rain here and there. It's kind of getting hard to hear you guys right now, but I think it's um, the winds are kind of picking up. It seems like the storm's getting a bit closer. And oh. Man, I hope he's okay. Yeah, I hope he is okay, but we better prepare for that kind of weather here in Indiana. I better learn how to swim now. <sighs> and now on to our new segment, what we like to call Focus Spotlight with Juliano. I'm here with the student of the week for sixth grade, Ava Rices. We're here now with the Student Spotlight of the Week. Can you tell us a little about yourself? My name is Ava. I like the color blue and I have two dogs. Cute. Okay. What is your favorite thing about school? My favorite thing about school is when I walk in every morning and I see a bright smile from the teachers. That's wonderful. Okay. How has your transition from elementary to middle school been coming to Hest? It's been great because my sister and my brother and all my teachers have been supporting me through all of this. And lastly, what is your secret to school success? My secret to school success is when I know when I have to turn in my papers, when I have tests or quizzes, and when I have to be on time. That's great. That's a good plan you have. That concludes our interview. Thank you very much, and congratulations. Keep up the good work. Thank you. Why did you choose Ava Riasis as the student of the week for sixth grade? Well, we chose Ava because she's she's positive all the time. She's always smiling. She works really hard all the time. Um, she's really that student that's shown that shown great promise already, mm -hmm. even six weeks in. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. What outstanding qualities does she portray towards others and in the classroom that you've seen? Well, she's always helping her classmates. Mm -hmm. And um, in my classroom, we have a, a game in my classroom, and she's mm -hmm. always doing the challenge modes, going above and beyond that way as well. Oh, wow, that's great. Okay, if you could describe Ava in one word, what would it be? That is a difficult one. Uh, smiley. Smiley? She's always smiling, and yeah. I just think that energy is contagious. Yeah, I agree. That concludes our interview. Thank you very much. Thank you. What a wonderful student she is. Is yeah. she not? She is very wonderful. And for our second story, you may have noticed we have a new weight room in the basement. And now back to Juliana with more of that story. Hess recently received a new addition to the basement, which is the new weight room. It is open to all athletic teams at our school. Mr. Spirit, can you please introduce and tell us a little about yourself? 
Uh, my name is Mr. Spear. I'm the athletic director and varsity boys basketball coach at Hamley Academy. Okay. How did you get the funds slash sponsors to get this weight room added to our school? The city of Hammond offers a uh, gaming grant for uh, any organization, uh, non-for-profit organizations so like the YMCA's, any school, to improve fitness for youth or um, anything that involves them using some sort of uh, exercise. So I applied for the grant. We got a $22,000 grant from the city that I had to fill out a bunch of paperwork for, <clears throat> write a paper for, apply for it. And uh, so we got the money from the city essentially to build the weight room. That's great. Okay. How do you think this weight room will help out our upcoming sports teams at Hess? I think, um, well, obviously, besides just improving strength, which is, is the clear idea of having a weight room, I think it also improves confidence. I think when your athletes can jump higher and run faster and they can, you know, look, run, walk by the mirrors and see that they have muscles, that it builds confidence. Um, one thing I noticed, not just through boys basketball, but through every sport that we had last year, was that every team we faced seemed to be stronger faster, more athletic, and I think this is a, is a key component to why. Okay, that's good. Okay, with this new addition, what is the main goal to do for all your student athletes? I think the main goal is to start building the idea of um, having athletics be done the right way. Um, you know, all the schools that we compete against in, in the IHSA have off-season workouts, they have a weight room, they have practice every day, they have more than five games a year. Um, and I think this is just another step in the right direction. Now, we're not anywhere near where we want to be, and I don't know when we will be, but I think what this does is adds another level of confidence, like I mentioned earlier, and it adds um, the idea that, okay, we have a weight room, now we're taking it serious, maybe we can pull some other kids in who maybe didn't do athletics before. Yeah, that's, that's a great goal for us. Okay, that concludes our interview. Thank you very much. All right. 98, 99, 100. Whew. Finally on to sports with Mia. Monday, September 11th, boys varsity soccer beat Calumet Christian High School 8-2. Fernando leading the team with three goals. Wednesday, boys varsity tennis lost to Highland High School. Friday, boys varsity soccer lost to Morgan Township High School. Five to three. Monday, September 18th, girls varsity volleyball has a game against Westside High School. Tuesday, boys varsity tennis has a match. Also, girls middle school volleyball go against 21st Century Charter School. Varsity volleyball also has a game at Gary Lighthouse Academy. Thursday, girls varsity volleyball is a home game against Calumet New Tech High School. Boys soccer is home game against Hammond Gavitt High School. Friday, boys varsity soccer is also a home game versus Calumet High School. Saturday, boys cross country has a Highland Invitational. Also, boys varsity soccer goes against Washington Township High School. I'm Kobe. And I'm Kara. And thank you for tuning in on this week's of Hash TV. Come back next week for a brand new episode. Boom.